Um. Now, back to your friends, Don and Gino. Thank you for joining us again every Thursday, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. right here in your hometown station, AM 420 Yes, Don and Gino show now happily guiding you to personal and financial wellness for over three and a half years now. Actually, if you go to our website at donandgino.com, you can click on the YouTube channel, and believe it or not, there's over 590 uh, videos now on our YouTube channel. How about that, Rob? You guys blowing up? Yes, yes. You know, it's pretty but cool But it's all good that. Insta- it's, not, it's not YouTube channels of Gino riding a skateboard. That would be scary. No, but there's plenty of Don Getling bloopers in there. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll create some more today. Because it is uh, Gino Gold Star Day, evidently. Evidently, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're here with Rob Schwartz with Princeton Review and Total College Planning. Our, our college planning expert, good friend of ours, and just... Always informed. Rob, I love that you always come prepared with great information for our listeners uh, to help inform them and educate and uh, give them direction on how to handle the challenges of getting into college. And the challenges are um, also right here in California. Everything's it's a cakewalk here, but not so much, huh? No, uh, it really has changed uh, for the negative. And there's, I mean, take a good look around and start talking with people. There's a lot of frustration. There's a lot of angst. There's a lot of people who are out there yelling at Congress people and yelling at the UC region saying, why are you taking seats away from our kids? Where are the taxpayers funding your program? And why are the number of California students, generally speaking, shrinking, certainly in comparison to the out-of-state and international populations? I bet you have some numbers for us about those. Me? Never. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, well, no, the I numbers really do. don't lie. We love numbers. We're, you know, finance guys at Cherry Creek Mortgage. That's what we do. So thank you for bringing numbers. We understand this stuff. Numbers are important. It brings some context to what's really happening in the world around us. Uh, according to the San Jose Mercury News, uh, freshmen from outside California now make up almost 30% of the class at Berkeley and UCLA, whereas four years ago, that number was simply 10%. Wow, that's a huge increase. It is beyond our true understanding of how there has been a, an evolution overnight in these two schools in particular. Uh, essentially, it, they've gotten around some rules that say, as a system, the University of California cannot have more than 12% of its student population from outside of California. Well, the Mercedes of the world, the Riversides, the Santa Cruzes that are hovering around 1%, well, Berkeley and UCLA said, oh, oh we're more than They're happy blending to take the this. averages? That's correct. Oh. oh, my goodness. That's pretty tricky stuff. It is, but before you get all Holly Hobby pissed off at the UC <laughs> system, <laughs> let me give you a I was going to just drop out. If, you, if that's your choice. <laughs> uh, but those loans stay with you, young man. Oh, um, no. Here's, here's the compelling reason why they have to do it the funding that comes from our state towards each and every UC student, despite the Prop 30 increases last year is still hovering at near 30-year lows. The amount of money we put into our system, frankly, is insufficient to pay for in-state students who pay the tuition. California school systems are losing money on each California kid. So they either A, take more out-of-state and international students, or they go out of business. Erwin M. Fletcher, you choose. (laughs) (laughs) You know, ultimately, I just heard um, either if we don't like this and we want to change it, the next thing that's going to be on our ballot is more taxes to support California Well, it's schools. either or. Right. So we either right. take in more people from the outside. This is almost like private enterprise here. You either take in more people from the outside that you could charge more, or if you want to take people from the inside, you got to raise the taxes. Well, and colleges are a business, regardless of what you think. It's not just an education system. There is a business there. Well, and I think that's one of the things that we don't recognize. You know, we look at the UC system and we think, no, these are California schools. No, we own them. This should be 100% California. But that's not entirely true. They are businesses. And I know when we've talked about other schools, we've talked about how important it is for them to fill each seat and why they market and why they're trying to attract more people. And it is a business. All right. Let's throw out a touche then. Okay, if there all those students are heading from the, the outskirts uh, into California, do we have other options then? There are 2,300 four-year colleges and universities in this country at present. Okay, there's, there, there's other options. A- at least six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, those peop- and everybody wants to get in these two that we were talking about earlier. That's the funniest <laughs> thing is people have, have built this inherent value into schools like UCLA, UC Berkeley, or the UC system as a whole. The data suggests that is not true. As much as I love my Bruins, 
hey, I'm getting by, I'm doing the best I can, and I've got a master's degree to boot. Um, you will find that in terms of the value we put on education, that value attached to a school name does not happen until we get to law school, medical school, business school, the PhD program, the dental school. That's where we can generally say, oh, I went to a top 10 program, I'm gonna get paid top 10 money. Oh, I went to a outside of the top 25 program, I might be a barista. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good point, Rob, because I can honestly say that, you know, at the time when I was going through Cal State University Northridge in their finance department, and the girl I was dating was going to SC. Just, yeah, I know, I know. Wow. I know. Uh, <laughs> AKA why I'm a big Bruins fan. Uh, anyways, it, we were comparing, you know, the education process of what they were learning and we were learning. There was no difference, if anything, my Cal State Northridge um, classes. We were ahead of the USC students in what they were learning versus what we were learning. So there was no like, oh, that's, you're getting better, better education. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't ironic. know how to combat that. I was, oh, being, wow. I was being ironical. So you on. hear, <laughs> so you hear <laughs> the difference in the way each one of these two individuals speak, right? Master's degree from UCLA or uh, graduate, radio show or graduate from funny. CSUN. <laughs> well, did it, you it, hear Gino? Oh, is he at least start the bus before he ran me over. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I'm, I think I just heard the, the bump. It's a uh, hybrid. For, for what it's worth, I did not get my master's <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I didn't hear it. from yeah. Boston Northridge, so that's why I'm also a Matador. Okay. Um, so so you get my point, though. I mean, oh, you were, I mean I'm actually clear. solidifying your point. That oh, you're absolutely right. I mean, if you get great educations, and it didn't have to be a well-known school. I mean, no. actually, these are well-known schools. They're, they're just all well-known schools. Right. But, Okay, here's another well-known school, University of Nevada, Las Vegas, UNLV. Yep. You've all heard of it. Yep. Um, is it ranked in the top 100? No. Is it a great location? No. Is it a school that I'm, I'm a big fan of? No. Can you come from UNLV and be incredibly successful? Absolutely, yes. Oh, sure. So find a school where you, as a student, can be happy. That's the most important thing. Furthermore... Are you the type of student who's going to thrive with four or five hundred students in your freshman classes where you are not going to ask any questions? You're going to sit there and listen to a lecture and take notes and read your book and have a Coke and a smile. If that's you, if you're the type of student who doesn't need to interact with other fellow students or with your professors, you belong in the UC system. If you want to raise your hand and ask a question and you expect someone with a PhD or an MD to respond to you, you're in the wrong place. That is probably the most important thing I can tell your listeners, guys, is realize with 2,300 choices, you can be really, really picky. See, this is great information that you bring up, Rob, and, and why you need to speak with somebody. If, if you're trying to figure out for you, with your child, it's always with your child. Some parents I know out there go, you're going here. But if you're really doing this right, you're, you're deciding this with your child or with your grandchildren, it's important to talk to somebody like Rob Schwartz with Princeton Review because he'll, you always enlighten us on stuff you, we don't really think of. I mean, you just can be blindsided by, I have to go to Berkeley, I have to go to this school or to have a chance. But there's so many other parameters, um, such as w what makes them happy, what direction they want to go, how, if they can get in, or how can they afford it. Uh, great if you want to go to Stanford, good luck if you don't have uh, you know, a full ride or uh, money pockets in the background supporting you, right? It could go both ways. It could be you make too much money to qualify for need-based aid for Stanford and you're going to pay $61,000 a year. It could be that you're choosing the Cal State University school that's close to you and you're going to pay what you think is a really affordable price of $23,000, $24,000 a year, but you're not going to graduate for six years. No, oh, because so you can't get your classes. Oh, you can't get you got to take that into consideration. So how great of a bargain is it? See, they don't talk about that. That's sneaky, sneaky. I it mean, that's is. that's great. See, again, uh, that's why I'm applauding that you bring up these type of things. You go, okay, four years and this, and you had two, uh, two years here. Oh, okay. Did, like you said, was it really a bargain? Did you get what you wanted? Did I don't know you if get it was a bargain, but it was like financing it. It just made it cheaper lo over a longer period of time. That's true. As long as you know that up front, then it's okay. It's when you look at your buddies who graduated in four years who started their career two years ahead of you, Ooh. and you went, oh, ah. I think I missed the boat here. Got Boy, it. You keep bringing up little zingers. Uh, have okay. you ever had a zinger? They're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <it's> raspberry flavor. <laughs> Again, we are with Rob Schwartz with Princeton Review, uh, independent college counselor with Total College Planning. And Rob, how can they get a hold of you? Because 
I, I'm begging you to talk with somebody like Rob because he'll give you direction, information, and he's a good dude. As you can tell, he's a friend. He's not somebody who's going to just start ch changing your world financially to uh, afford this. This is somebody who'll give you direction and make you think about things you probably hadn't thought of. I know he does for us every time he's on the show. So how do they get a hold of you, buddy? Uh, for your listeners, uh, anyone within earshot uh, here in Santa Clarita, if you want to meet with me, you want a free in-home consultation, Woo. all you have to do is ask. Um, I always will give you as much time as you need to answer your questions and make sure you're going in the right direction. Um, no that's attached. a bargain. It, well, free is a good price. <laughs> hey, I, that's because he's on the Don and Gino show. We, we twisted his arm and said you, you need to give a bargain. <laughs> uh, well, no, actually, as much as I love you guys, I would give that to anyone who asks. All right. All um, right. How do you get a hold of me? <laughs> uh, it rings in my pocket. My number is 818-359-3779. All right. More great stuff with Rob Schwartz with Princeton Review and Total College Planning. He's going to enlighten you more than you know. When we come back to the Donald Trump, we'll see you